And so as we approach the new year, I think it is important to find narratives and trends in the cryptocurrency space since you can make a lot of money if you're early on that. And so one of the trends and narratives that I think is going to do very well in 2024 is AI and cloud computing. And so I'm going to be going over three cryptocurrencies that I think can do extremely well and have very good profits in that area. And so we can go ahead and see that the market's doing very well here. We can see Bitcoin has stabilized quite a bit over the last couple of days. However, that money is starting to flow down through altcoins as we have discussed here on the channel. And so we can see in the last week here, Solana's up 48%. We're over 100 and about $10 on Solana. We have IMX here up about 17%. We have Near up 69%, Rose up 25%, uh, Injective here up 47%. So we can see a lot of these are really starting to gain some traction. And I think that will continue to flow out throughout these cryptocurrencies here. And so we can go ahead and take a look at the crypto total market cap here. And this is just proof that money is starting to flow into smaller altcoins. And so we are looking at the market cap, excluding Ethereum and Bitcoin. And we can see that we did break into this zone. I've been talking about this on the channel. Once we break into that, we're going to see a lot of money starting to flow into altcoins. And so we can already see that with Solana and many other cryptocurrencies, we're just about going to break through $500 billion market cap which is going to be very beneficial for altcoins here. And so I think this is going to continue to be a trend with the AI powered bots and AI over the next couple of years. However, a lot of people don't understand that these are very expensive to run. And that is because of the GPUs that it is using. And so to run chat GPT costs about $100,000 per day. And so that's very expensive. I know there was talks about them possibly not making it, maybe going bankrupt, just because the cost is so high. And so right now they are utilizing Microsoft's Azure Cloud to host chat GPT. However, they could potentially be looking into cloud computing services on blockchain to reduce those costs. And then we also have Elon Musk um, releasing his own version of that as well here. And so it's only going to drive more of this narrative moving forward. And then we also have Nvidia here that produces the GPU chips. As you can see, their stock has been doing very well here since about September of 2022. This stock has more than tripled. And so that just shows that this is a very hot trend. We can see this is a narrative. There's definitely a need to reduce these costs. And that is where I think cloud computing comes in in the cryptocurrency space. And so let's go ahead and take a look at different cryptocurrencies that are in cloud computing in GPU. The one that most people know of probably is Render. That is the largest at about $1.7 billion market cap. However, I do have some smaller ones in this list here. I'm not going to be going over all of these. I'm going to be picking a couple of them that are my favorites that I think are going to have the best potential moving forward. And so let's go ahead and take a look at Render here first. So as we can see, this is just trading under $5. It has done pretty well today. We are up about 6.5% on the day. And so this cryptocurrency may look like it's pumped a lot. However, I think there's a ton of potential for this. And I will be explaining why here. And so Apple held a keynote event a couple of months ago featuring Octane X, a GPU rendering feature that is available on the App Store. And so Octane is directly related to Render. It is the company behind both products. And so the CEO has been in touch with people from Apple. He has already announced that he's said he's been in communication with them. And so I would not be surprised to see an official partnership announced. Apple's looking into turning Siri into a chat GPT feature or integrating more AI into Siri. And so whether they're going to be utilizing render services for that, we will find out once they announce that. And so I think there's a ton of potential for this moving forward, especially if they're already using one of their services, Octane X here. And so I think that's something definitely that would drive this cryptocurrency crazy, right? There's a lot of fans out there for Apple. It would be like Tesla announcing that they're partnering with a cryptocurrency. That cryptocurrency would go insane. And so that's the same thing that I would happen here with Render as well. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some more news here for Render. Render also announces that they have a burn mint equilibrium emissions that are now live on Solana. And so this is going to be a deflationary asset. As people continue to utilize the GPUs on Render, they will be burning those tokens on Solana. And so, again, this is very good for the cryptocurrency's price, as well as um, just the use case for GPUs and trying to reduce the cost. So the next cryptocurrency here I want to talk about is Nosana. This is on the smaller side of the cryptocurrencies here. We're talking a market cap of only $62 million. However, I think there's a ton of potential for this. If you zoom out on the chart here, you can see it looks like maybe you missed the pump, right? Um, back in October, this was only trading at about $0.08. Cents. Now we're at about $0.75. Cents. 
However, I think there's still a ton of potential for an Asana moving forward. And so they're also focusing on GPU computing power and reducing those costs. And so we can see right here that this is going to be powered by Solana and the Nosana token, which continues to drive the price of Nosana. And so the last cryptocurrency I want to talk about here out of this list I have here is going to be um, Nuco Cloud. This is NCDT. Now, this is not an all inclusive list of all GPU projects. There's a lot more out there. This is just a list of cryptocurrencies that I am keeping an eye on that I think will do very well moving forward. And so the last one here, we can see this is much smaller than the rest as well here. We're only talking the $11 million market cap. And so there could be a ton of potential for this. Again, they are focusing on the GPU cloud computing power as well. And so we can see some more information on that. As I mentioned, they're looking at revolution cloud computing and decreasing the cost by sharing an economy model. It allows users to provide or access computing power from a decentralized network. And so this is the same idea maybe as um, Nosana as well. They're looking at reducing the cost. However, one thing that is different with this cryptocurrency is that they have secured a German government funding and empower customers to do the same. And so we can see by utilizing Nuco Cloud here, you can get about a 40 to 80% discount through the government program. And so this tool will be available across all products and enhancing your access to financial support. And so in addition to that, if you choose to pay an NCDT or NUCO, you will receive a 20% discount. Our objective is to simplify your path to government funding for computing power providing you with a clear advantage. And so they already have the German government on their side. And then they're also making sure that you're utilizing their tokens by giving you a discount for both of those as well. And so I think this is something very good to see. They're not just another one. They have to have um, a step up against these other cryptocurrencies that are out there, right? They're all competing in the same space. However, as AI continues to increase and be utilized more, there's going to be a more of a need for this. So I definitely think there's not just one cryptocurrency that's going to run the entire space. We could see multiple as they focus on different areas. Maybe this one's focused just on German government funding. And then other ones are focused on rendering um, images such as render and then um, different areas, right? They're all going to have different sectors that they could be focusing on. And so just let me know your thoughts underneath the video. The different cryptocurrencies that I maybe forgot about or did not speak of that you think would do much better than these. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next video.